Hello everybody, it's Keegan here. I'm back with another video for you guys and welcome back to another edition of Keegan's Movie Reviews. Now before we get started with today's review, I would like to say that I was originally going to do this video on Monday, but I didn't feel like doing the video on Monday for some reason. I just wasn't feeling motivated to do it on Monday. But hey, the video is finally here and uh, let's, uh, let's just go ahead and get started with today's video. So today's film we're going to be talking about is a film that I saw in theaters last Friday. And no, this is not a new movie or anything. This is an old film from 2007, and it's one I've been wanting to check out for a very long time, and now I finally checked it out. And that film in question is the 2007 adult animated film Persepolis, directed by Vincent Paranaud and Marjane Serapi. I believe that's how you pronounce your last name. I'm not sure, though. So Persepolis is based on a series of comic books of the same name that was created by Marjane Serepi. And all these, uh, now this uh, series of comic books is actually based on a true story on Mar on the author Marjane Serepi's early life living in Iran during the 70s, 80s, and 90s. And uh, the film, the adaptation, the film adaptation of the comic books was released on June 27, 2007. And like I said, this is a film I've been, I've been wanting to check out for a long time, and I finally checked it out. And in this video, I'm going to do a review of the film. Well, obviously, it's a movie review, of course. So let's not waste any more time, and let's talk about Persepolis. So Persepolis is based on a true story of Marjane Serepi's early life growing up in Iran during the 70s and 80s. And it starts off with the, um, with the Iranian Revolution in the, in the late 70s where the people of Iran overthrow the Shah. And then in the 80s, it it uh, covers the um, basically the negative effects between the war in Iraq and Iran and the tyranny that occurs on the civilians, especially towards the women during that period. And uh, without giving away too much, it's basically... The whole film is basically Marjane Serepi's account of living during those eras, especially at one point during the film where she leaves Iran to live in different places in Europe and trying to fit in with the different culture that's much different than what it is in Iran during the during that period. And without giving away too much, that's basically the storyline of the film in a nutshell. Now, I was actually really impressed with this film. This is a film I've been wanting to check out for a long time, and I was not disappointed by it. I really like the animation for this film, and it's just a really uh, well-made film, and it's a well-acted uh, film. The, the voice acting in this film is really well done, and I really like the animation for it. And I have actually read the comics that... The, that this film was based on and the comics are great. I do recommend reading the comics if you haven't. And um, I like the music and I really like the style of the art style. It's, it's mostly black and white, the whole movie. Well, most of the movies in, in black and white, but there are some scenes where there's color, but 90% of the film is all black and white. But the art style is, is really unique. I like the art style of the animation for uh, this movie. And um, I think it tackles the subject matter pretty well with like, with like the devastating effects of the war in Iraq and Iran and places like that. And I believe it's a really a uh, well-made film. It is one I highly recommend. And it's a it's just a beautiful film. I really, really enjoyed it. And I would highly recommend it if you haven't seen it. But I don't really have a whole lot to say about this film other than I do recommend it if you haven't seen it. It's just a really, really great film. And it's a film I've wanted to check out for a few years and I finally checked it out. And needless to say, I was very much impressed by it. But I don't have anything negative to say about this film. And I just really, really enjoyed the film. So if you haven't seen Persepolis, definitely check it out. I highly recommend it if you haven't seen it. But I'm giving Persepolis a 9.3 out of 10. And that well, that's going to be it for this review. Thank you guys for watching this video. As always, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment below, subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and share the video with your friends, family, or whoever. And feel free to follow me on my other social medias. The links are in the description down below. And uh, comment below what do you guys think of this movie. But anyways, that's all I have to say for this video. Thanks again for watching. And until next time, this is Keegan Shepard signing off. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, everybody. Peace out.